things that I have learned from working with tens of thousands of leaders in dozens and dozens of countries all over the world, and I'd like to boil them down to six positive things. The first is the universal lesson of life, which is show up. If you don't show up, nothing really happens. The very fact of showing up, of making oneself available, of deciding that your presence makes a difference is the first key to leadership. The second lesson that I've learned is that it's important to speak up, to use the power of voice. No one knows what we're thinking if we don't express it. And you know, there are some people who think they're entitled to have all the airtime, and so they often just talk and continue to talk until finally they hit upon something they really have to say. However, the power of voice is not simply words. The power of voice is shaping the agenda, framing issues for other people, helping them think about it in a different way. Have you gone to meetings where you've noticed that whoever is running the meeting, the person who ends up as the most influential is the one who names the problem and gives people an idea for action. So speaking up is the second attribute of leadership. The third is to look up. Look up at some higher principle, bigger issue, bigger vision, values. I'm simply thinking about how important it is for any leader to know what they stand for and to be able to elevate people's eyes from everyday problems which bog us down. But the fourth skill, and why vision and values matter in part, the fourth skill is team up. Team up. Everything goes better with partners. Nearly anything worth doing is very difficult to do alone. The best projects, the best ventures are one where there's a sense of partnership from the beginning. So now I've had four skills and I want to get to the fifth, which is never give up. Because of something that I coined a while ago, I call it Cantor's Law, I hope you do too. Cantor's Law is that everything can look like a failure in the middle. There's almost nothing we start that doesn't hit an obstacle, a roadblock, it takes longer than we imagined because we'd never done it before. Never give up because if you give up, by definition, it's a failure. You've stopped prematurely. That ability to hang in there and not give up is a hallmark of leaders. I mean, I think about a friend and colleague in my own area, Dr. Donald Berwick, who was recently the chief administrator for Medicare, the biggest health program in the United States. Well, for 20 or more years, he has been pursuing the idea of quality in health care. He's been pursuing the idea of innovation to raise quality and reduce costs. And do you know that it sometimes takes 17 years to get an innovation in health care from the mind of those who dream it up into use. That's an amazingly long time, but he never gave up. And then when you get to the point where it looks like what you're doing is working, it's taking hold, you have the first pilot, you have a little more support, you do the sixth thing, which is lift others up. Share success, the credit, the recognition, the idea of giving back once you have a success, because that's what creates an environment in which you can do it again, you can do it the next time, you build support rather than lose support. So that quickly are six secrets of success. If you want things to continue to be up, then show up, speak up, look up, team up, Never give up and lift others up.